is left side of the brain. Go ahead, do us a favor. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and hit the subscribe button. Today, we're going to switch things up a little bit. For those who don't know, I'm an avid boxing fan. That's like my favorite sport. Um, I love to keep up with boxing. Um, particularly, I like the um, 135 and the 140 division. But, you know, I'll look at middleweights as well. Um, even the weight class of 160. Um, I believe that's where David Benavidez is. I'll even look at I'll even look at the heavyweight division. But um anyway, today's video, I want to just do a recap of last night's fight between um Gervonta Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia. Now this is a fight that has been building up, that was building up for over like the past what? Y'all help me out. The past three years. They've been talking about Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis. Everybody been talking about it. Everybody been talking about it. Okay, so the fight finally comes to fruition. And it lasted for seven rounds. So let's let's run down the fight and how it went down. And then I'm going to tell you what I think about it. So it started out round number one. It was more of a, a fill-out round. Um, if I had to score that round, I would give round one. I'm going to be honest. It's a coin toss, but let's just give it to Ryan. All right. This is just, just give it to Ryan Garcia round two. Um, round two, you can say that was a Ryan Garcia round. Um, cause he did get, no, 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 no. What I'm talking about. I'm tripping round two, definitely a tank Davis round. All right. Cause in round two. You have Ryan Garcia, and in the post-fight um, conference, he said the reason why he came out swinging and um, attacking um, Tank the way he did, he said he was getting bored. But that was the worst mistake he made in the fight because as everyone saw, Tank hit him with this uppercut, clipped him. He went straight down. It was reminiscent to how he got um, hit when he... Um, the first time he ever hit the canvas with, uh, what's that guy named? Lucas? Lucas Campbell. Yeah, yeah. That was his first time ever hitting the um, canvas. And Tank had the honors of giving him his second time in his professional career hitting the canvas. So you, we got to give the second round to Tank. Third round, it was more of a um, Tank round. Tank was like pushing him back to the ropes and everything. Tank was just coming in. With that high guard, Ryan was throwing like that one-two jab. He wasn't really connecting anything. Tank was going to the body. And in round three, you could tell that um Ryan was like round three, Ryan was kind of hesitant to punch because one thing about boxing, you gotta take the respect. You gotta get your respect. You gotta earn it. And Tank earned his respect. In round two, when he connected with that uppercut. So round three, we're gonna give that to um Tank. That's a round, that's a Tank's round. Round four, gotta give that to Tank. Round five, gotta give that to Tank. Pretty much the same as round three. Um, round six, we're gonna give round six definitely. I edged that out for Garcia, but not by much. He did connect with Really, his only clear shot in the fight. I think he had hit Tank with a right. He hit him with a right. But surprisingly enough, he never landed that left hook that everybody um says he has like a good left hook. Um, He never landed that left hook. But he did get one good shot on him tank, on tank in the sixth round. Now, some of you may disagree that he won the sixth round, but I'm going to just give it, give it to him. All right, round seven. Now, this is what we want to get into. The meat and potatoes of what I wanted to, to discuss tonight. Round seven. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Ryan Garcia quit, ladies and gentlemen. He quit in the ring on one knee like he was proposing to a woman. Ryan Garcia quit in round seven versus Tank. I don't care what nobody say. Um, What happened was, all right. 
Ryan was like teeing off on Tank like he did in round two. Tank, he had, um, Tank was ducking Ryan's right and left hooks. All right. And, and Ryan was kind of like pressing down on Tank's shoulders, kind of, you know, crouching him over, you can say. And then, um, Tank threw this liver shot. And when you look at it, it, it barely looked like he hit him. But when they slow it down, you can see like the, the force of the punch. And he got Ryan right in the perfect spot. He hit him right on the liver. And they say those liver shots, they'll creep up on you, right? So Ryan, he um he took about two steps and then he went down. He got on one knee and he was looking at Tank. And Tank was like, come on, come on. And then Ryan, Ryan, he shook his head like no, like he like, like no mass, like he don't want anymore. So then he got counted out. But here's the thing. This is why I'm saying um Ryan quit. Because if y'all go back and watch the clip, at the 10 count, Ryan gets up. So I'm saying if you could get up at the 10 count, you could have gotten up at the 8 count. So I don't see how all of a sudden, like, you just going to be able to pop up at the 10 count. No, he quit. And I, I, you know what? You can't really blame him because he's in every tank. So in his head, he's probably processing like, man, if I get up, I'm going to really get hurt. And he, he was right. If he would have got up off that canvas, Ryan Garcia would have been in a coma right now, especially in the condition that he was in. So I'm saying that he quit. But also, I'm going to say he did the right thing. I know y'all might come at me at that. Well, how are you going to say he did the right thing? I I'm just saying for his career, he's 24. I think if Ryan would have got off that canvas, he know just as well as I know, Ryan would have got his head knocked off his shoulders. We're talking about Tank Davis. And he was in no condition. So Ryan, he put up a good fight. I think he did the right thing. He knows his body. Ain't no need to get up and try to be no hero for the for the fans in the arena. You know, of course, they're going to say, oh, you quit this, that and that because he did quit. And I've heard some people say, well, he should have got he should have gotten up. He didn't show that he had a heart. Um, that's the difference between a boxer and a man. I've heard people say that I've been looking at it on various like post fight reviews. And that's what people have been saying. But I'm going to say. If you ain't cut out for that, don't try to be something that you're not. If Ryan, if you had to take a knee, just take that knee, go back to the gym. Because if you got up and would have gotten really hurt, then you can forget about, you know, your future in boxing. I mean, you can take brain damage. He already had to um drop down in weight. And then they had a rehydration clause. So I think he did a smart thing. By just bowing down, taking a knee, humbling himself. Because if he, he if he would have got up, it would have been way worse than it was. Ain't no need for him to take that much, you know, punishment in a fight for no reason. For those who didn't see the fight, hey, you missed a uh, uh it was a great fight, man. And um, I just want to see um where Ryan goes from here. They were saying that this fight was the fight that gives Tank that crown as face, as the face of boxing. We'll see how that goes. They sand that right now. But a week from now, two weeks from now, we'll see if they get back on that Canelo bandwagon. But we'll see. But they sang right now that Tank is the is the new face of boxing. This was the fight that they said would get him over the hump. And, it, and it'll shut up all of the naysayers. And they can't say, oh, he's ducking this person. He's ducking that person. But as for Ryan, he said that he's going to move up to 140. Now, honestly, I don't see Ryan Garcia beating any of the top 140 competition. I think if he goes up to 140, he should take a fight with somebody ranked around number 11 or something like that. But a top 10, top 5, 140, I don't see Ryan edging it right now, especially not against Teofimo Lopez. I don't see him beating... Regis, uh, Progray. I don't see him definitely not beating no Josh Taylor. 
So Ryan's best bet is to go back to the drawing boards, get some rest, you know, patch up them holes in his defense, learn how to fight with his chin tuck, and I think he'll be okay. But this fight right here, it might, if it might have been the, the what's that word? Saranora in Spanish, they say. Saranora, whatever, goodbye. This could be the end of Ryan as we know it, people. Now, he, he got a big Instagram following, so he got a fan base. But far as being that top-notch fighter before this tank fight, we might, last night could have been the end of that. So with that, tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section below. If y'all agree with me that Ryan quit, let me know. If y'all agree that he should have stayed down, that was a smart thing, let me know. Or if you think he should have gotten up and at least held on to tank and, you know, try, even though he would have gotten knocked out, let me know. And with that, this is Left Side of the Brain signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And this is Left Side of the Brain signing out. Oh,